So I'm starting a new clock. As you can see, this clock is based on a committee navigator. Uh, they made this clock a uh, tribute to John Harrison's H1 clock. I thought it was a great looking piece. So I went through and calculated uh, all the numbers. You can see these are the main formulas you need. The center distance, the wheel diameters, the pitch diameter. And I tried to use cutters that I already had. So you can see I've got a 0.6 modulus, a 0.9 modulus, and a 0.75 modulus. Uh, I'm going to be using on these different cutters to give me a layout that we get close to what the uh, clock looked like uh, from the pictures I saw. You can see here the basic train uh, laid out, um, the numbers calculated. And then what I did is I moved over to CAD and I put the, pretty much the whole clock in CAD. A couple of little items uh, left to do, hands, etc. I didn't put all the screws in. But you can see it's a nice looking piece. I think I'm gonna make the frames out of aluminum and I'm gonna try to uh, make them black. I'll hard anodize those uh, frames. And then I'm getting the, the material I need to plate the gears. If you look at the, the committee, what they do is these are all gold plated or different uh, types of metals you can get these plated. So anything you see here that looks like brass, I'm gonna see if I can gold plate. Um, and I think it'll give it a nice look uh, between the black anodizing and the gold. So that's another thing I've got to figure out. You can see the motion works, etc. One thing I did on this design is I put everything, uh, all the instances where I have arbors and uh, pivots, I put bearings in. So this thing is designed uh, for having everything in the train to, to be on bearings. I think it'll give it a very smooth running. I need to do that uh, by using aluminum frames uh, because you can't really have a pivot in aluminum. Uh, there'll be a ton of friction. It, it would not be a good clock. Uh, but you can see it's a pretty simple design. It's got a few C in it coming off the main wheel. Uh, so it should be a pretty accurate clock. Um, I'm excited to get uh, started. It took me a while to get all the calculations done to get this uh, built up in CAD. And I'm hoping I did those right, uh, because this train, I based it on a one second frequency uh, on those pendulums. So hopefully this will be a uh, fun build. I think this will be interesting. We'll see if uh, my math works. It's kind of the first design I've tried, so we'll see how it goes.